Hello my friends and welcome back to some Super Mario Maker 2. My name is Justin and today is a really exciting day because we're starting a brand new series where I try to beat your world records on my level. I don't know exactly how this is gonna go. I don't know if the records are even beatable, but we're gonna give them a shot so you guys can see which records maybe you can take for yourself. And if not, at least you can see the way to beat my levels. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So here's my maker ID. We have all these little stats you guys can check out. 316 hearts. I'm not the biggest maker, that's for sure. But I do have 13 uploaded courses for us to choose from. And I figure we'll just start with the most popular one because it's one that I've been wanting to try to optimize. And someone got a minute six seconds on this one. DGR actually got the first clear on this. If you look into more info, you can see DGR Dave right there, first clear. And I clear check this in three minutes and six seconds. But somebody managed to get the world record down to one minute, six seconds. We're going to see if we can actually beat that time. So we're going to hop right in here and we shall see. Now it's going to be very easy to keep me honest because all we have to do is look at the timer at the finish. We need to beat it with their 4, uh, 440, 434 or better left on the timer. So the idea with this one starting off and just going up. I did find the cheese though. I managed to find the cheese. You're supposed to go down here, but I realized you can hop right through the clouds and go straight to the checkpoint, which saves you a couple of really difficult jumps. And yeah, hopefully we can optimize this one. It might take a couple of tries, but we just need to beat it with 434 more left on here. So, oh boy, here we go. 470, ooh, time is ticking away. A minute six is not really, not really a long time to beat this course. There are some seriously technical jumps using Dan Salvato's on off technique. Okay, 456, we still have 22 seconds with the last jump is definitely the hardest. Ooh, buddy, all right, it all comes down to this. Actually, my goal is to beat one minute. I don't know if we're gonna be able to... Oh, there we go. Four, three, two, all right. We beat it in under a minute on the very first try. That is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, that definitely was very quick. Obviously, it's not gonna show up there, but you guys know 500 minus 441 is 59 seconds so hope you guys liked that course and you got to see the cheese i do have a video up on beating this the normal way so you guys can check that one out for yourself but that is dgr ascension and you just saw how you can take the world record so go for it since this is the first episode of the series i figured we could play the very first one i made space bounce this one has a 142 world record, which means we need to beat it by the 398 mark. Ooh, I don't know if I can do this one. Space Bounce, it's been a while. This one probably won't happen on the first try, but I'm excited to give this one a shot. <laughs> very, very excited. So definitely what's cool about Mario Maker is you can do really unique things like in this level with the note blocks. However, they are super tough, just the timing on them. So. Making a level like this will help you guys to practice your note block jumping abilities. And yeah, the Karibo shoe is so much fun to use. It's kind of like having a Yoshi, but you don't have to feel bad about abandoning it. So that's pretty cool. And there's no Yoshis in this theme. So it's a really unique idea and it adds some fun. Also, I hid that 30 up there is pretty good. It might not be easy to see, but you guys will know about it now. I love the clear conditions, it added so much to Mario Maker, and it just adds to what you can do for a level, change up the strategies and everything. Ooh, that was pretty close. I think we're going to be okay on coins, we just need a few more. I think I'll, I need a 10 bagger though, so we're going to have to drop down to the secret area. I didn't want people to feel bad about falling and dying so far. So most of my levels are fairly generous, there's only one that's super, super tough. Uh, otherwise, 12 of them are fairly generous. You probably won't die very much playing them. I just want to make people feel good when they're playing Mario Maker. There we go. 71 seconds. 
you guys might even be able to beat it in under a minute. So I got a minute 11 and the world record's 142. There is plenty of time left for you guys to take that world record. Since I beat the very first course I made and also the third course, we're also gonna do number two, which is actually the favorite of the courses that I've made so far. I really love this one, Frosty Desert. It's 238, it's an adventure course, jump in the cart to avoid damage, there's a little bit of cart, and I made this July 3rd of last year, over a year ago. Let's hop into it, see if I can beat that record of 238. So we need to get to the finish line basically before the 242 mark. I think we can do it. I can even show you guys some of the secrets. So down here, it's like a mirror image. I put a little map. So you can see that it matches up with the cat bell and then the three one-ups in there. And yeah, this one's just a whole lot of fun. So what I was going for is the, the cat suit was brand new to me. I was brand new to Mario Maker and I was just trying to push the limits to see what I could do with this one. There are some kind of shortcuts. I don't know if you can bounce up with this guy. You might be able to get a shortcut with him, but you also might just want to go up here and do it the way that I intended. If you get really lucky, you can squish the bully in there and it looks pretty cool, but you want to make sure to hit this P switch before you go into the pipe because that's part of this little puzzle we have going on here. There we go, awesome. So yeah, we definitely want to beat that 242 mark. Ooh, I even was a little bit early, so the, the coins were not intended to be that way. Yeah, I just, I love adventure courses and just all kinds of fun traveling at long distance with some creative, not too difficult puzzles. So this one just sticks out in my mind as probably my favorite course to play. All right, we need to hit the P switch here. I don't think there are too many skips in here. Maybe right here, if you abandon your car, that can be a little bit of a skip. And I don't think people had a very easy time figuring this part out, but you just go down using these exclamation point blocks. Not too difficult. We have plenty of time. Still have like 60 seconds, so we're already getting down to the end part. And it's just an epic ride where you have to Abandon the car at the right time, and you'll have no problem with this one. At the end, you can choose to go in the car, and what's more fun, being overpowered up and trying to get to the end. We can also go through these guys. Oh, yep, we can go through these guys just like that if you want to defeat them. Wah, and get the victory. Awesome. Actually, we beat that in 159, so less than two minutes. I would say that one is an easy world record for you guys to pick up if you want to do so. So yeah, that was Frosty Desert. Those were three of my courses where we had no problem beating the world record. So if you guys are looking for some courses where you can optimize, get better world records, these are it. And I challenge you to do so. So that was a whole lot of fun and it was fun looking back on them as well. I hope you guys had a good time and I will leave the link in the description or the course codes rather for you guys to give these a shot for yourself. Till next time, I hope you guys will follow me on Twitch. Hit that subscribe button on here as well and take care and God bless.